Well, I start working in the ground using very lemon green and I also have been working in the sky with a very light blue and white color and coming back to the ground I using some orange and very bright orange to keep this like three dimension in the ground like the shadows and the very bright grass and then I focus on the very dark darkest uh, a part of the painting in this case the tree and I'm very very clear with this uh, structure because it's the most intense dark so I try to remarkable on my painting and I start working in the next very um, simple steps It's always a very nice experience to start a new painting because you might have some idea about what to paint but when you start painting you discover new problems and try to resolve the problems and those steps is where you get experience to really go forward a solution experimenting some color mixing and also learning from the reality so as an artist it's all the protection how you can use the, your palette mixing the color for get close to the reality so I working now in the orange uh, three lips try to make some effects giving some texture so even you can feel like it's quite real because the texture and I use very uh, pure oil no, it so as an artist you are welcome to explore yourself and getting very close to the model and do this interpretation that you need for your painting so as you can see I try to wear an orange color giving some bright greens and red and mixing all, all colors together try to work parallel and all around the painting especially in those parts where I can easily uh, focus and very very colorful several times I just walk on the forest and try to absorb all these colors on my mind and also try to feel the air and the smelling all these experiences you will express when you are painting all these memories will come up when you are painting so it's very important to have this relationship between the artist and the model because at the right time you will show up through your emotion those experience printing on the canvas and this is very special because if you don't have that then it will be hard for you to develop in the, the, the painting 
and I guess I call this the inspiration and as an artist you practice that every day to have this experience you can do some sketch and when you're working or also outside you can do some sketching or make some pictures and then you can remember when you're back in the studio so for me it's quite easy to um, continue painting because during all my life I have seen many forests and different countries different stations seasons so it's for it's quite easy for me to remember those uh, landscapes with different colors and textures so when I'm painting it's very special as a dream because those memories come to me with the smell and I can print on the canvas and using the right color and giving the right texture so yeah try to get more closer to reality but also involving my experiences on that I guess every artist is very happy to print his own style. The style you have developed, practicing every day, painting every day, and, and that is something like you really have to be focused on that. If you are just a hobby artist, if you are a professional artist, you really are very happy when you're painting and you of course you have to love what you're doing otherwise it won't be real we, we feel like it's a fake This time lapse allows you to discover how I can progress on my painting, keeping an overview and details and all around together. So normally I just take some time between sessions. Um, so I stay back and give an overview and maybe drink a water and just analyze the the project, the, the painting development. And then I start making some adjustment, getting closer to the goal, like the vision of the painting in general. So I getting even between like dark and between very light. I, this is where I work. I try to look for the contrast of the painting. Looking at those contrasts is very uh, unique and very good because I allows you to get more three dimension on the painting. The same way, I I want the painting to look very expressionist, like very fresh and very handmade. So I try to use a, a lot the textures and tones, and that way it can give some uh, this effect. This is re, uh, 3D. And of course, I have very lovely playlist sometimes i'm in the mood to listen to some jazz music a classic rap hip hop and 
it depends on the move how you feel every day is a new beginning and you feel different you have different motivations and that's just the contact that you have with your daily routine is something to push you up to go forward and you need some inspiration and for me inspiration could be the nature the music the art as like a painting so that's so like a, every day i have this wish the will to go for 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 paint and do a different painting every day and just collect all my ideas in motion and print on the painting it's amazing how you can start working all the painting giving an overview about the subject giving the 3d dimension looking for the contrast the blue the dark part it's all together it makes this movie very very easy to work as an artist So I'm just working in small details, right in the corner, gave me closing up the main subject and I love this part because it's giving more details, you get closer to reality, the painting will look much better, and fresh and alive and that is the artist eye. The artist eye allows you to go through the window of the magic and you wanna be on that world you wanna be there and you wanna have this painting to look every day from your home and yeah I guess it's very um, a very special like, connection between the artist the artwork the painting and the client I have clients most of my clients are my friends and we keep our relationship for many many years amazing I'm very happy to, to have nice friends around around the world actually that's good well thank you so much to be my tutorial see you next time